Hello, Diane here. Thought I'd give you all oops, a little look at our project. Here's the door from my downstairs sewing room. I've moved most of my things out of the upstairs into the downstairs. A lot of my machines and equipment were located in my crafting room um, and I was just getting way too crowded. So my husband redid the basement so that I could bring all my things downstairs. So here we go. Um, here we are into the, the new basement. You'll notice things are still pretty messy because we only started moving me down here yesterday. Um, we're starting here. This was the door to get in downstairs. And um, this happens to be a chest that my husband built into the wall because in this basement we had some ledge and he couldn't remove this giant rock so he built around it. The rock is in the lower part of that cabinet and it's not painted completely yet. We have to paint that. We'll be painting that over the next day or so. This is my picture of the sewing bear and the bunny that my son Jody gave to me when his grandfather brought him shopping when he was about five years old and it's been in every single one of my sewing rooms since. So that one, that picture has to find its place somewhere in the room. So, I don't know if I can get a wide enough angle, but here we are. Here's one half of the room. This is my regular sewing machine. This is where I do my sewing of garments and sewing my quilts. I am putting a quilt together now that's basically as a black background that's what that pile of black gum sashing is and it's a very colorful quilt made up of scraps it's called frame your scraps and uh, here are the scraps actually I have built a design wall in there you can see my design wall way over in the other part of the room that is the framius scraps quilt slowly getting put together I built that design wall last week it's a piece of flannel 108 inch wide flannel on two pieces of um, insulation board the board is 8 by 4 I put two together but I needed 8 by 7 so I cut well I didn't cut it Dennis cut off a foot and you can see cotton <laughs> cotton fabric just sticks to flannel so it's a real good place to design your quilt and make sure you're not put having two colors go together at the same time so we'll take a peek around we have um, bamboo flooring uh, it is what do they call it floating a floating floor this is where my ironing will be my ironing station although it's just an ironing board at this point I might be getting the bigger kind of ironing board my irons are in there and those are boxes with some projects and ironing products so let's go this way the stove isn't completely connected yet there's a heater there and we get just got that last year when Donnie was living here this this area still needs to be um, reconnected the stove was over to the left but I put a desk there and this is where my serger machine is. The serger machine previously was on my kitchen table and I've been doing a lot of serging lately so I got a lot of use um, of it on my kitchen table but it's it's much better here. It's a very cool spot for it. Um, that's the door to the bulkhead in the outside. There's my dress form. Um, here is my Simply 16 Little Foot. This is my quilting machine. Uh, this is where I will quilt my quilts once they're put together. There's Zuzu's bed. That suitcase is, houses one of my sewing machines. So you can see we haven't leveled it yet. or completely put it back. One of the um, one of the bars that goes across here is still actually it's still there against the wall. We're going to level it and then finish finish that assembly. We just brought that down yesterday. I have my bobbin winder over in the corner on another little kind of a dry sink that's going to hold a lot of sewing supplies. I already talked about the design wall. 
This is my koala cabinet, which I've had for one year now. I actually bought it used last year, almost to the uh, to the date. Be, uh, in a week, I think it'll be a year that I bought it used. It was an amazing, amazing deal for 50 bucks, and it was for sale on the Cape. And it was a holiday time, but one Sunday morning, Dennis and I went down and we were able to get it. It weighs a ton. The only way we were able to get it down here is because Jody came today and helped Dennis carry it down. I'm too much of a wimp to get this down here. And there you can see, that's my embroidery machine. Um, and all my, there's a... There's a... Thread holder for all my embroidery threads, which are... Hmm, in that box right over there. I haven't put those up yet. So I have my regular, um, this is an Ikea table that I use as a cutting table. And then beyond that I have a portable drop leaf table, you know, the kind they sell at Joann's. Um, that's where I got it so that I can really, we, we, we bumped them together so that um, if I needed a big space. Although I found that I would be able to sandwich quilts on that, on that um, design board because if I put that quilt up there, with the, um, say, the uh, backing um, with the wrong side up and then put the batting on top of that and then put the quilt top to make the quilt sandwich. I can sandwich it all right on the wall, pull it down, and bring it over to the um, quilting machine. Here's my um, old Singer sewing machine cabinet um, with the 19... What was it, 1950s maybe? Uh, it's the Singer 301A that was in this basement actually. Dennis found it in the house when he moved in and it, we, we, you know, we went through it and I bought some new electrical for it and it, it, it's just one, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful machine. I like using it. I have another, my Elna down there with my travel bag. When I take classes, that's the machine I lug out of here because as you can see, it's very small and lightweight. <clears throat> Portable machine, it's great. This is more thread that I have to put on my um, wall. This is going to be regular, th well, it's going to be some of my embroidery thread, some regular thread, and the rest of the embroidery thread here will go on that white rack I just showed you. Some of my mats are here. This is a little place to have a cup of coffee or, re or look at a pattern or something, just a spot to be um, comfortable in the room. There's uh, the dehumidifier. We haven't found its spot yet. But as you can see, here's another view of the whole room. It's a lot, um, a lot of space. My regular machine is here. I've got a couple of closets that I'm filling up quickly. Uh, and I just can't wait to start sewing. There's my drill. <laughs> More boxes. There's boxes and things under the table. Um, it's still in a state of... Um, building I guess creating creating I'm still creating the space but I love it I can't believe my husband did all this for me it's just so wonderful um, I'll do a real nicer video once we're all set and we're settled in down here thanks for watching bye now